Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Anne. I'm a fashion designer and a craft addict. Today I'll be sharing with you a tutorial on how to make a diaper cover. This is what we call a diaper cover. It's a pant covering over a baby's diaper. And I'll be sharing two types, the pant and the bloomer. The bloomer has a crotch line and this doesn't. So if you're interested in this tutorial, please stay to the end. This is my first YouTube video and I'll be needing your support. Kindly subscribe, like, share, whatever, whatever. Hit the notification bell and just support this channel to help me grow. Stay to the end if you're interested in this tutorial. Let's go. To begin with, you get your materials ready, which is your fabric, your measuring tape, your scissors, your ruler, chalk, and then um, French curve. So for this fabric, fabric, I folded my fabric into four, and it's stretching across the, the width. This side doesn't stretch, but it's stretching across. You don't necessarily have to use a stretchy fabric. You can use any fabric of your choice, as long as you get the measurements right. So for this size, I'm making for a year old baby, and I'm using the average size measurement for a year old. So you can increase if the child you're making for is bigger, or reduce if the child is smaller. You can just use the average child um, size for for a smaller child because it's going to have elastic around the waist and the tie so i'll just be marking my guideline up here because i'm marking on the white fabric i won't um, press hard on the chalk although it won't show because i'll be weaving the edges i'll weave out the the parts i marked so I'm marking six inches here plus half inch for seam allowance, which is six and a half. Then I'm coming down by by four inches and half inch for seam allowance. This is four and a half here. I'll be using my ruler. Let me mark my six and a half inches as well here. So I'll use my ruler to join the two points together. Now on this part for the height of the diaper cover you're making, I'm using I'm using nine inches plus half inch for joining, which is nine and a half. So I'm leaving this place like this. I'm not cutting. And on this part, I'll be marking that is the underpants. I'll be marking 2.5 because I want it five inches wide. So I'll be marking 2.5, then half inch because I'll weave then fold. So I'm marking three inches here. Here. So using my French curve, I'll join this to this. But the front is usually um, the back is usually wider than the front so i'll be marking the front first take note of the way i'm placing my french curve so for the front i'm placing my french curve this way and for the back i'm placing my french curve the opposite way the purpose of this is to the back is usually wider than the front so the front when you when you check your pants or underpants you see that the front is um slimmer than the back and when a child is wearing diaper the back is usually fuller than the front that is why we have this curve here for the back and this one here for the front so i'm just going ahead to cut this and we'll go to our sewing machine to stitch so i have cut out the back now to cut the front i will have to open this up note this side is unfolded likewise the bottom so i'll open this up and i'll just trim this side off So now we have the front and the back. So I'll be going to my machine. I'll stitch this side and weave, stitch this side and weave. Then I'll go ahead and weave the, the tie opening and weave the other side. Then for this upper waist, I'm just going to go in by half inch and use my zigzag to insert the elastic. So I'll be using the half inch elastic. So let me set my settings to zigzag. I'm using the medium size zigzag for mine, but you can use any one that suits you. So I'll just be putting my elastic like this, then I'll fold over. This is my half inch elastic, I'll put it like this, then I'll fold over. And I'll pull gently as I sew. Then I'm going to gently pull, fold this over, and sew. So I'm done with the waist and this is it. 
neatly finished with zigzag. So it's not too tight and it's not too loose. It's better loose than too tight so that you don't end up this um, the child does not end up feeling uncomfortable. So the waist is just okay, not too tight and not too loose. So I'm going ahead to do the same on the tie opening. So for the tie opening, I'm doing exactly the same thing I did for the waist. Place my half inch elastic like this, then fold over and pull gently. And we are done with the first method. This is the final look. Moving on to the next method, let's begin without wasting much time. For the bloomer, I have um, my fabrics. This side is on fold, so this is one, two, three, four. So I folded my fabrics into I folded my fabric into four, and this side is on fold. I'm just going to make. I'm just going to roll a line at the top that will serve as our guideline. I'm marking two inches down because of the casing we'll be making for elastic. But from these two inches mark, I'll be going down by <coughs> sorry, I'm going down by seven inches. Then from this seven inches mark, I'll be going down by three inches. So I'll do the same marking on the other side. Seven, three. I'll go ahead and join the lines now. Now on the waistline, I'll be taking the hip measurement divided by four floors, 1.5 inches which is going to give eight inches so i'm just marking the eight inches there and on the guideline at the top that's the two inches extra for elastic casing i'll be marking the same eight inches there now i'm coming down to the crotch line which is the seven inches marking below i'll be taking the same eight inches there but i'll be going out by i'll be extending it by two inches for the crotch curve so now i'm just using my ruler to join the points together and at the bottom i'm bringing down the two inches downwards eight plus two that's ten so i'll be marking ten inches at the bottom and joining the two points together so going over this measurement again from the waistline i divided the hip by four on the waistline sorry i divided the hip by four plus one and a half inch allowance giving eight inches and i brought down the eight inches to the crotch line and extended it by two inches outward for the crotch curve now at the hemline i brought down the two inches extra down to the hemline and i'm going to fold in by one inch for elastic now i'm just using my french curve to create that curve you can use your free hand to do it but for the purpose of this tutorial i'm just using my french curve to create that curve now I'll just go ahead and cut after cutting i'll be separating the two pieces and i'll be having one for the left side and one for the right side so facing the right sides together i'll just go ahead and stitch along the crotch line on both sides after stitching i'll weave and come back so i have stitched and woven the two sides i'm just turning this inside out i'm just turning it to the right side so that we can see how it looks like on the inside so going back out i'll be joining the two stitches together you can use pin you can just hold them together make sure that the seams are aligned then you sew across and weave so after stitching and weaving the next thing we'll be going to the next thing we are doing now is to create the casing at the hem and i'm just going in by 0 0.25 then i'll go over by 0 0.75 because i'm using a smaller elastic for the hem and for the waist because i'm using a bigger elastic i'm going in by 0 0.25 then over by 1.25 
now we have come to the end of this tutorial so please if you haven't already kindly like share and subscribe to this channel so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video god bless you as you do so bye